Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the fifth ever oh, episode of Dope Talk TV. <laughs> Shoot, I'm running late, guys. My bad. Goddamn right you are, like always. Yep, always. All right, guys. This year's truly low key. Got it's my John. brother John here with me. Got Jill behind the cameras, man. And we're here with another episode of Dope Talk TV for you guys. We appreciate everybody that's coming back, listening to us again. We appreciate everybody that's watching us for the first time. We appreciate everybody that subscribed, liked, and is interacting with us, man. We we definitely want to get you guys' opinions on how we could run this better, how we could, you know, just have this be more effective. and, and you We know, could just, run things a little bit more smoothly. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So, yeah, man, you already know what we do. We about to spark up. Rolling Everybody out. fucking, you know, pack your bong, pack your bowl, roll your J, roll your blunt, and let's get with it, man. You already know how J. it is. A couple blunts, you know how we do it. Yeah, man. Something light, something mm. light. Something light. For sure. We chilling, we chilling. But yeah, man, uh, we, we're we here with another fucking episode. We're, we got a couple things to talk about today. Um... Starting off with, what, what is it? The uh, the two MLB players. Oh yeah, man, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous, man. How I don't get it, man. How people do like they do crazy stuff, man. Especially when they're rich, I feel like they just get bored. Yeah, seriously, they just it can't, get real bored. It, it has to be that. It can't be. It can't be anything logical. It can't be anything besides that. I mean, because at all. how do you go from being a successful millionaire? You know what I mean? Just to play baseball. Yeah, playing baseball, playing something you you love to play. How do you go from being a professional athlete and doing that and being a, a millionaire the right way to getting caught in one of the biggest, you know... Stings in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes no sense to me, bro. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. How you could be so careless and so selfish, really. And the players, I mean, for the names, that the people that don't know, uh, the MLB players, they're Octavio Dato. And Luis Castillo. Luis Castillo. Castillo. Luis Castillo. Castillo. Man. Man. That's crazy, bro. Makes us Latinos look kind of Yeah, facts. Crazy. It, makes us look, it makes us look a certain type man, of way. Man, they're rich. Bro. Like, what else are they going to do? Like, come on. Like, There's plenty of other things that they could have done legally, you know? Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. Make some, a business. Some, a legitimate business. Yeah. Some name. people just want to live out a certain fantasy, though, honestly, bro. Like Pablo. Like... Everybody everybody has a certain fantasy, and I guess that was theirs. They wanted to live it out. Yeah. And it just didn't work out like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. But. That's true. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel like that's just, like, really dumb. Yeah, it's just bad decision making, bro. Like, super dumb. It's just bad decision making. Because to be completely honest, bro, it's like, out of all the things you could possibly do, when you already got a certain amount of legal money, out of all the things you could possibly do to choose to do that, to choose that, yeah. it, it just shows that you have poor decision making skills, bro. Honestly, I mean, you got kids, you got a family. You're already feeding your family by throwing a baseball. That's all you got to do. Okay, yeah, you don't get Go to see your out. family yeah. and all that. Yeah, maybe you were trying to throw away a couple million in the bank for your kids. I, I don't know, man. It's just you already got millions in the bank. Especially if you won the World Series. You already won a World Series, then, I mean, that means that you got some bread. That's a fact. Like, come on. Yeah, that's a fact. But I don't know, man, because at the end of the day, I forgot who it was. I think it was, like, Mike Tyson or something that said that he blew, he blew like, $400 million or something like that. $400 million? Brother, I kid you not. Somebody said that they blew through a fortune. I forget who it is, but somebody... I mean, it's happened before. It's not impossible. It's just... Like I just said, it's it reckless. comes. It it's comes back down to poor decision making. Like you, you have poor decision making skills if you go and fucking do that, bro. Like that's stupid. Like that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's kind of crazy. Um, but that's kind of like number one rule, man. Like just don't get too greedy. Exactly. Just don't get too greedy with the money, man. Because it's not always happiness, man. That I mean, I feel like <clears throat> it's like twenty percent of it, maybe thirty, of life. You know what I mean? But <laughs> you're already making millions of dollars. I just, I just, I just find it crazy, man. To me, I just find it wild. I don't know. Nah, I but, agree. Uh, <coughs> I agree. <coughs> but yeah, man. Like it, it. <laughs> just don't be a dick, man. That's lesson number one of the podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't. For real, just 
make good decisions. That's lesson number one. Make, make good, good decisions decision. because that's ultimately what it comes down to. Those men had a decision that they made <laughs> that ended up affecting them in a negative way now. Everything has a consequence. Every every action has a reaction. Yeah, everything. You, you know? If you do something bad, it's going to come back around, like, eventually. You right? Know? It's, it's, Same thing if you do something good. Yeah. If you're a good person, bro, shit, good things will eventually happen, you know? Yeah. yeah of course, you got to put work behind it, because that's a misconception a lot of people have. Always got to put work, man. People think that, you you know... Pray, praying and just hoping for something will bring him, bring him that. Like no. that's just half of it. <coughs> you gotta, you gotta pray for it and then go get it afterwards. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, exactly. <coughs> man. Damn, baby uh, lungs, ass nigga. Man, I don't know why. I'm what the fuck? I'm coughing, man, so much. But my bad, guys. <laughs> I feel like I haven't smoked in a couple years. <laughs> my dog <laughs> is fucking choking. It's like ass. I don't know, but. <coughs> But yeah, man, just talking about stupid things, man. You know, that MLB thing, man. I just found it really, really hilarious. You know, I don't even, yeah. feel, I don't even feel sorry for them. But like, I don't either, man. Like, I just don't. I don't feel sorry for them. I just, I feel like. I feel sorry for the kids and shit. Yeah. Because they're the ones that are really gonna miss out. Yeah. Who knows? I don't even know if they're gonna get money. I mean, like, they'll, they'll still probably get money, right? I'm sure he'll be all right, man. I, I'm sure that his kids will be okay. I'm sure he has enough legal money to. Or dirty, who knows? Who knows, man? But still, it's it comes down to dumb decision making, bro. Make good decisions. That's lesson number one of the podcast, for real, for real, for real. Yeah. But yeah, man. There was an, there was another thing you wanted to speak about too, uh, for that Jeffrey guy, right? Yeah, the Jeffrey Epstein, man. Jeffrey Epstein situation. That that's something that I wanted to get into. Jesus. Because that's crazy. There, there's multiple things that that tie into that that into that situation that i want to speak on too like yeah but let's start off with the fact that jeffrey epstein a fucking millionaire you know that was convicted of soliciting prostitution with underage females as young as 14 that's got caught again he got caught again see i never knew about that right that's the thing that everybody's like talking about it like it's his first time like no, no, it happened again. He spent 13 months out of an 18-month sentence in prison for doing that, for that crime. And he gets out. That was in Palm Beach. That was in Florida. He gets out and does it again. Except this time it's, it was more serious because it was a child trafficking mm. situation okay. yeah, involved. Like a ring, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it, it, it was something more serious. But what I really wanted to dive into is the fact that, well, not the fact, but my opinion, Yeah. in my opinion, that man didn't kill himself. You don't think so? I don't think so at all. Why is that? I, I just don't think that he would have had to. He's not a person that's in that type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. a person that's desperate, they don't have no family, they don't have, you know, they could lose their whole job over this or... You know, their whole life savings could be gone because of this. Like, their entire lives could be ruined. And they'll, you know, they'll forever be fucked. He wasn't in that situation. He had been through it before and got out and still made millions. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So he wasn't, I don't, I don't think he was sitting in that cell like, bro, I want to kill myself. I don't think I'm ever getting out. He like, probably knew too much information. Yeah. That's probably what it was. He knew too much information, you know, maybe on somebody, maybe famous people. You know what I mean? Maybe people will power. Yeah, people people that were in his little ring, bro, because yeah. he he's connected to the Trumps. He's connected to the Clintons. He's connected to the royal family in England. Yeah. Prince David. He's connected to a lot of people, a lot of powerful people, yeah, bro. Yeah, so just for him to end up dead, yeah, I do find that weird. That's true, man. That is true. Yeah. I mean, everybody, there's always has to be somebody that takes a fall for anything, bro. Yeah. There always has to be somebody that takes a fall, and I think that he was the guy that took that fall in this situation. You know, he was the least powerful out of out, out uh, of the group okay. that was involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so there, there, he's not on a Trump level. No. He's not on a on a Clinton level. And he's I didn't not even on know a about him. Royal family level. I didn't even know about that. But there was um supposedly he did uh donate like eight hundred thousand dollars to a university, and the university apologized. They're like, oh, like <laughs> we are <laughs> sorry that we took almost a million dollars from this guy. Oh, we apologized, <laughs> but we already spent it on the gym. Yeah, like oh my. Nah, bro. That's crazy. But <laughs> for real, nigga. Nah, it's, nah. it's wild. People do things without, you know, 
they do things without knowing sometimes, but at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people do know what certain people do. Yeah. And they still decide to work with them. They still decide to go into business with them as long as everything is the money swept talk. under the rug. Yeah, and the money's there. Say no more. I got you. Facts. That's people don't really is. care, bro. And, and it shouldn't be like that, to be honest, bro. Nah. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that at all. Because, nah. I don't know, man. It just, like, people w- are willing to sell out way too fast nowadays. Yeah, they so- yeah, the sellouts, man. Like, they sell out way too fast. They give up their, you know, their integrity for a few dollars. Their bro. whole label. Their whole name. Everything. Just for, you know, for a million dollars. You know how fast a million dollars can go down the drain? Exactly. Seriously. Especially if you have a have-not mentality. Like, if you're always making excuses for and you know, for not doing certain share, getting off your ass and finding a way to go get it, you're most likely not gonna have that million for long. And if yeah. you have a have not mentality, you're most likely not gonna know how to flip that million into something that's actually gonna be able to take care of you for the rest of your life. Because a lot of people really think that they can live off of a million dollars, and that shit is, is false. A absolute lie. It is. You cannot live off. I mean, it depends on how you decide to live. But honestly, in today's society, with the rent going up and the way that things are set up and the, the you know, they got to set system, up on purpose. Yeah, it's the yeah. System. Like yeah. you're not, you're not doing that, bro. Yeah. There's no way. They they're trying to make us fail. You know what I mean? They don't want to see us make a million dollars. Maybe two. Maybe three. That's true. That's a fact. And if we do, they're gonna try to stop you. In, certain, in some type of way, they're going to try to stop you. I mean, I don't think they'll try to stop you. As long as you don't get in their way. Yeah, and you start to talk. Yeah, as long as you don't get in their way and you, you know? don't, you know. As long as you just stay in your lane and yeah. you just mind your fucking business. Yeah. They'll let you make your couple don't, millions. Don't start saying, oh, the history books are a lie. You know, stuff like that. You know, people get shot. You know, <laughs> people will die. <laughs> like, you'll Yo, just go missing. What the fuck are you even talking about right now, my nigga? What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, you talking about something different. Oh, damn. Never mind. We have. <laughs> hey, bro. That's why I let y'all know. Stoner yeah. ass. That was a stoner <laughs> moment. I'm sorry. I fuck, man. I fuck with y'all, man. Bro. I love you, bro. But hey, damn. damn. Tighten bro. up. Yo, Holy hey, shit. Yo, damn. That shit hit me. I, I told y'all, bro. I don't know what this is, man. I told y'all since I was coughing like a maniac. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. Look Liddy like a motherfucking titty, man. Nah, but that's what's up, man. You know, shout out to the to the good people that grow weed, man. Like, yeah, man. Yo. Shout out to y'all fucking growers out there. Y'all are the the real fucking heartbeat. Maybe one of day the community. we'll have our own. We'll have our own type of grow. We'll we'll, we'll just get some scientists Facts. and collab and collab, and we'll we'll just make our own. Yeah, man. Like, get our own strain and shit. Johnny and Heck, or Heck and you know. Something I don't so, know. I don't know, bro. But KK, yeah. you ever seen Wiz Khalifa? Yeah, for real. Yeah. That was Burner that helped set them on. Yeah, you know? and they got their own strains. Like they're still best friends. Like they they grew up. Yeah, they look bro. like they grew up together. It kind of looked like it, but that's what's up, man. Like, man, shout out to them, man, for real. Yeah, shout out to the girls out there, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all keep y'all keep the peace out here. Yeah, <laughs> real talk. Y'all nah, keep the for peace real, for real. But nah, man. Moving on, moving on to the next subject, man. Yeah. We could uh, we could get into uh, the Amazon, bro. Mm. You wanted to talk about the Amazon, man. The Amazon, man. People, no one's no one's really talking about it now. They are kind of like they're sharing memes and stuff, but they said it, this been going on for like weeks. Yeah, they said it was going on for like three weeks, bro. And I was just like, I was and surprised. That it was burning at an unprecedented unprecedented rate, bro. Like that shit, it, it was burning fast at the fastest rate. Yeah. That any forest fire there had burned since 2000 and I think 11. It's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it said 79 percent increase in fires from the same period in 2018. So there's been larger numbers of fires in the recent years. Right. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, I get it. There's gonna be fires and stuff like that. But now they're trying to like say it's just like it's not us. Like is yeah, it our fault? No. Like it's like they're trying to put it on something else. Like I was reading some article out there and they were talking about how farmers they use brush fires and stuff like that. Yeah. But like I get it. I get it. But it's like, man, that's like eighty like how 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 many percentage of the earth? You know, it's like you said it was like thirty percent of the earth's like Yeah, uh, it makes twenty the Amazon makes twenty percent of the earth's I mean oxygen. That's, that's kinda that's kinda big. 
Yeah. I mean, without that, we'll be dead, man. It's it's kind of sad. People not really, you know. Yeah, the quality really... of the air on this earth will be very bad. Very and bad. it's already very bad in certain areas it, as it is. It's, you know, it's just like the movie, Wally. You think that's a game? Like, it's a cartoon. But, like, if you look at the concept and the actual, like, story. Nah, it's it real, makes bro. Sense. It's it real, does it's make real, sense. It's... Like, that's exactly what this earth will end up being like if we don't, if we don't tighten up. We don't tighten up. You know, and like the other day when we went to the springs, bro. You remember all the trash that was there? Yo, there was trash, man. We we went to the springs, man. Bro. Not even like five minutes away from my house, man. And it's a beautiful spot. It's a beautiful man, spot. Beautiful. Amazing. And we see trash cans, we see beer cans, you know, we, like whole six packs like, thrown in bushes and shit. It's like, come on, man. Man, just like put it in your backpack, man. Like why you gotta throw it away at your house, bro. Like that's honestly, kinda, like that's, that's 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 sad, man, because you look at all the you look at everything, man. You look at all the wildlife, the the flowers. The, everything's green, you know. And you you just want to sit there and just trash it up. It's gonna die eventually. You keep doing that, you know. Thanks. The river, you know. You seen the river and all that stuff. Like, it look. I don't know. I feel like it could have been better. I feel like over the years. I, agree. I, I feel like over the years, like it just decreased in 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 size. In quality. Yeah, in size and quality. You know. Yeah. I agree. And and to talk about that, because when I went to Norway, it was kind of... Remember I was telling you about that? The One of the largest... We, me and my dad, we went to go see one of the largest glaciers from the Ice Age. Wasn't... It wasn't... It yeah, was, from the Ice Age? From the Ice Age. That's how old it is. So it was like wow. one of those historic spots where you go and you hike and you take pictures. And it was like... It's crazy. Right. My, when my parents were together, bro, they took a picture, right? I saw it was huge. When I went to go see it, 20 years later... Bro, it was it was smaller, in the picture. My dad right. told me. I look. I compared the pictures. I was like, "Oh my god, that's crazy," and it it kind of hit me in the face. While like, okay, this this is this is real, this is what's going yeah, on. It's this, not a joke. We're doing this, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like no one's really caring. So like, it kind of hit me in the face. It it was like a as, a, a that's because most people don't care unless it's affecting them directly. Because I used to be that guy to throw stuff out the window. I'm not gonna sit here and, and act like a saint. You yeah, know what when I mean? you when you don't know better, you don't do better, bro. Exactly. When you're a kid, you're a kid. You don't know what you're doing. But once you realize, like, yo, that cup that I threw out this window isn't gonna, you know, isn't gonna dissolve for like the next thousand years or however long it is. Like yeah. you start thinking differently. Like yo, maybe I shouldn't throw that shit there. Maybe I should just stop being lazy and just actually just save it. Maybe put it, you know, in the recycling bin. You know, that's another topic too. We don't even do recycling no more. That is for real. What is and, going and fucking, on in, in Volusia, Volusia County, County, Florida? What is going there's on? There's no more recycling. I was baffled. I was like, wait, what? And then they they were saying that they were throwing that shit in there in the first place. Yeah. So what the fuck were you guys? What were we paying they for? They said that they were mixing it, throwing it in with the, with the actual garbage. They weren't even so so all these years. <laughs> oh, it's a waste of money of taxpayers' dollars and all this stuff. And I'm just like, man, you know what? You guys are kind of just it, you guys are a disgrace. You yeah. guys should not. You guys Facts. don't deserve to be on this earth. Yeah, for if real. If you think man. about it, you don't deserve to be in charge of something that's as serious as recycling. Honestly, you don't deserve that privilege because that's a privilege to be able to take care of something that is going to potentially save lives and save, you know, animals, species of animals and that just is. not pollute the earth at all. And we haven't even discovered half of the ocean. You're, and you're telling me that, OK, we're not we're just going to start throwing stuff in the ocean and we're just going to start killing animals and leaving like little nets and and you know the little beer can holders you know for a six pack you know little birds be getting into that like it just it messes up the whole ecosystem and it just destroys everything but you know you know people that actually go fishing out there and they kind of just like ignore the 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 warning signs or like the limitations of how big you can get the fish and you know if you could take it home they don't care about that yeah that's, no, a that's big very thing. important super too. important yeah. people just don't really care yeah, yeah they're like make... oh i caught this big ass fish it's like bro do you understand that that f how long that fish has been alive how long that fish has been out there bro. and the fact that there might not be that other was fish. meant that was meant for another fish yeah exactly you feel me? and we just took it now that other fish is gonna die and then the other fish is gonna die and it's just a keep. It's just a rotating. That's how we are. Yeah, man. And that's it, how it's gonna. That's how it's gonna be. Eventually, there's gonna be a point in time we're not gonna be able to save the earth. And you know, look at. I mean, I think to be honest, bro, I think we already got to that point. Uh, me too. I I feel like You're that's right. the real reason why they want to go to Mars so bad. Let's be real. 
I think that's the real reason why Elon Musk wants to fucking get the fuck out of here and go to Mars and really see if we could live over there so bad. Yeah. He's investing a lot of fucking money into this SpaceX program really? or whatever the hell it is. Really? Called. Yeah, brother. He's fucking investing into trying to move to Mars. What? I think I think it's that, for a bigger th- reason, bro. I think it's because the, he knows <clears throat> he knows something we don't. He's like, shit, we got to be out. Maybe he saw something. You know? Maybe he saw a water fountain. And he was just like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? The fi- water fountain of youth, Joe? Yeah. Maybe he saw just a regular water fountain. They just... He was just like, nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> nah, but, nah, but I'm talking about just like a waterfall. Like, you know, just like, what if he saw a stream of water and he was like, yo, we could live here. You feel me? Oh, you're talking about like All Mars? Yeah, like nah, All Mars. Like, I yeah. don't think that's what happened. Nah. I think he's just like, yo, this this planet is going to blow up. <laughs> yo, <laughs> like, for real. a hundred years. Yo, so. you see the pictures with the polar bears, like, drowning. Yeah, they man. They don't swim. For that long. Facts, yeah. And they're big ass bears. Yeah. And then they're swimming for miles, hanging on like Titanic when they're hanging on to the little, <laughs> they're hanging on to the fucking door. <laughs> like Titanic. Like a door just hanging. But nah. Yeah, man. nah, it's not funny though. It's not it's, it's, it's ice cold it's water, funny. you know, but that was that was bad for them, but you know, for humans. But but yeah, for the polar bears it you know, it just melting. Just sitting on a little little glacier just melting and then you're like, What am I gonna do? And you got kids? What if the polar bear had like, yeah, little, man, little but bears? You, 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 little bring these, bears. you bring these fucking problems up to most people, bro. They don't believe it. Until they see it. They that's don't, why, yeah, that's, they don't that's believe why, like, it. it changed me, bro. I was like 12. I think I was like 12 or 13 years old. When, when you I saw went. the glacier? Yeah, when I saw it. And I was like, man, that's crazy. That is crazy, That's bro. crazy. It hit me. It was like a reality check. But, you know, you try to explain that to some people and they kind of just brush it off. Like, uh, like, I just find it like. They just think it's fake. Yeah, it's fake or they're just selfish. They don't care, yeah. you know, but it's going to affect their generation. You know, it's going to affect maybe your your family family's not going to have it, but maybe your family's, you know, family, family, family will feel it. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, bro. Generations <laughs> down the line, bro. There's yeah. definitely going to be somebody in your in your blood bloodline that feels it and is affected by it. Yeah, that's not something it's not something we should play with, period, bro. Like we shouldn't be selfish if you really think about it. We're so ego, egotistic, bro, as people. Like, yeah. We're here for such a short amount of time as humans. We're here for such a short amount of time. Why do we got to fuck everything up in such a short amount of time while we're here? Like, yeah. every generation has to find something to fuck up. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, we got to take a stand, man. We got to take a stand. We, we got to start doing stuff, man. Start Like, man, we were actually talking about, you know, picking up trash. You know, yeah, I, this you know. weekend. Yeah. yeah oh, that was a party foul. You saw that? Yeah, party foul, dog. Let me slap your wrist real quick. This is my blunt. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I got my own over here, but I didn't like do it. it. We vibe. Yeah, but nah, Look, man. You. But for real, we're going to pick up trash. You know, we're going to start doing stuff like that um, because it's kind of, it's getting out of hand. Like, I saw it and I was like, I saw a couple cans in the beginning. I was like, all right, whatever. But then I saw like it was cans, a lot. like cans and cans. Even I went to Puerto Rico too a couple years ago, like three, four years ago for spring break. Bro, I went to a certain side of the beach and bro, there was just trash. My uncle was telling me, he was like, yo, like we're going to, they kind of did like a day where everybody's going to pick up trash on that beach because it was so bad. I'm like, yeah, I see. Yeah, man. And, and that's admirable. And that's something that we all need to do in every community. We need to start doing something, man. Cause, For real. Yo, like, because we all live on this planet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, like, it's like we all live on this. We're, we're all together at the end of the day. Yeah, we like could hate not, each other. We could be racist towards each other, whatever. But we all still live on the same fucking ball of dust floating in the fucking space. Yeah, that no one fucking knows about. Honestly. Yeah. That, seriously. Yeah, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. We don't even know nowhere. anything about our Earth. Not even half of it. For real. That's what I mean by like, humans. We're so egotistical, bro. We think that we're the biggest, baddest thing out there. Like, yes, we have a brain that's superior to most animals on this on this earth, yeah. if not all animals on this earth. But believe you me, bro, we're not the only thing in the space. No. Nah. We're not the only thing in space, yeah. and we're not the smartest thing in space either. No. Nah. Because to be honest, people want to act like aliens don't exist, but the number one funded thing that the american 
that that the you know military funds is an alien invasion. An alien invasion. You bro. did tell me that before. Yeah. And that's the number. About it. That's the number one thing that they put money into into defense for. I mean, that's that's crazy. We just gotta we gotta prepare ourselves. Like, you know what, man? Like, I feel like there's no type of weapon that could really save us. Like, I feel like they're just gonna do some like nuke or bomb or, or something like that. Like, we don't. Like, yeah, you know man. what I mean? Like, that's I, a, yeah, you're right, bro. Like, we're not gonna have like no type of weapon to like to defend I ourselves. I agree. We talk about these guns and stuff like that but honestly it's not like back in the day they're not gonna send truck full of fucking soldiers down the street with guns to collect people i don't think they'll do that i think (laughs) if they really just want to get rid of a certain portion of the population they're just gonna drop a bomb like hiroshima oh man they're just gonna drop a bomb that's it you know i saw a documentary about that that was crazy that shit's fucked that's another that's a whole nother story Nah, that's like that's like a whole Man, it was it was scary, man. Cause I saw people were like there were soldiers talking about how they were forced to like be like test dummies for like bombs and stuff like that during yeah, that time, bro. and they were able to see like their friends like bo- like bones and veins. Yeah, and Miguel stuff was like talking that. about that yeah. shit, bro. He showed me that video, and we that all, shit were, was crazy. We were all together. Yeah, we yeah. were all there. Yeah, it was. That too, shit was yeah. crazy, bro. Like the fact that let, let's get into that real quick, bro. Cause that's actually pretty fucking crazy. The fact that. Troops in the military fucking got sent into a ravine somewhere, yeah. and a bomb exploded less than a mile away, or a mile away, and they knew nothing about it. They were just told to get up, go out there, and lay in a fucking trench, and they blew a fucking bomb up a mile away. Yeah. And they just were used as oh, test but, dummies. But you guys want to join the military. But, I mean, right. like, you know what I mean? Like, I respect I respect the people that, you know, that I are do in too. the military, 100%. But I for do the too. people that think that, yo, you, oh, I'm better than you and, you know, that type of stuff, it's like, man, why? Why, why do you, like, I understand it's a sacrifice what you got to do. Like, seriously. Because you got to go is. and go. You got to go away from your family. You it's a no sacrifice. Choice. It's a big sacrifice. You got to do PT all the time, almost every morning, four or five in the morning, whatever, maybe three. I don't know. Right. You got to sacrifice time yeah. and holidays away from your family, your children, all types of stuff. So I respect it but 100%. It, I respect it, but I don't understand it. Like, why would you want to go fight a battle that's not yours? Like, why would you want to go fight the, and I'm, risk your life for people that would do that to you? For the same people that will wake you up at 5 in the morning and let you go to a trench and tell you to lay down and blow a bomb up just to see what it'll do to you. Yeah, that's kind of like... That's that's That's, that's not loyalty, hand. bro. Like, yeah. you know, that's not loyalty, but yeah, man, that's crazy, bro. There's that's a lot crazy. of, there's a lot of crazy things that's just going on in the world right now. Facts. Uh, but we, we just got to stay positive. We got to stay alert. We got to stay attentive and we got to keep each other, you know, we, we got to look out for each other, man. We can't be, you know, we can't be out here just like being selfish and just like looking out for ourselves. We got to check up on each other and just yeah. like start being more, more, more aware, aware and more, you know, just caring for each other. And yeah. caring for the environment and the earth, a and little all bit that. more considerate. Yeah, of course. Yeah, for real. For Just real. a little. That's bit. a great word. Just a little bit. Be be more considerate. Yeah, for actually the earth, a lot. Your, the people that. Yeah. yeah, man. Actually, a lot. So that, yeah. that that's pretty much the consensus of the podcast. Be you know. Be aware, be considerate, and just respect each other, respect the sur- your surroundings, respect the environment overall. Yep. And um, yeah, man. This has been yours truly, Low Key. It's your boy John. Yep. It's been the Always. fifth episode of uh, Dope Talk TV. We appreciate you guys for fucking, you know, just, tuning man, in just, and yeah. just just being with us, man. Just just messing vibing. with us, smoking with us. Let us know in the comments, please. Let us know how we could, you know, improve and and how you guys would like to see certain things run or whatnot. Just give, you know, give us give us your opinion, man. Yeah, that's that's it. Maybe some topics you want to speak about, but uh, we out. Yeah, man. We out this bitch.